Hello, everyone. Hmm. I hope you've all had a wonderful Wednesday morning. Welcome to the Forest of Memories. As always, I am Zaruk Windcaller, your guardian, your high remembrancer, and your arbiter. So, as I said, I've got class tonight, fall semester starting up, and class is, well, takes place during my normal streaming time. And I don't want, you know, to not have Wednesday stream. So from time to time, probably what I'm going to end up doing is doing these little mini streams of laid back or simulator games, just so I have something to do and something to talk to all of you about. Today, we're going to do Tank Mechanic Simulator. I've done a little bit of practice on it, but I want all of y'all to see it from the beginning. So let's get started. Let's fix some stuff. So, going to be upfront and honest, I know nothing about mechanic work, so this is going to be an experience for me as well as you. Anyway, we don't have to check the computer because I got this tablet that lets me check everything. So let's see. New start from Uncle Tom. I've heard that you've taken over the tank business after your father. I'm sending my condolences. He was my dear friend. What do you mean, brother? Oh, whatever. Now, I want to help you start. Here's my proposition. Disassemble and repair the broken parts in my KV-1. Then assemble the repaired parts back. Good luck. Okay, you got it. So. Let's see what we got here. Aha! This is a KV-1. One of the early Soviet heavy tanks. Hmm. And again, I am... Mm. I am a military historian, so I'll be giving you little tidbits here and there. Mm. As I said, this is a KV-1. This, along with the T-3476, was the first starting, was basically the Soviet Union's first, uh, first foray into modern, well, not modern, but heavier tank production. The thing is, the KV-1 it was all right for a heavy tank. But it was quick. It was quickly discovered that speed and mass of production was more effective than well, just being a heavy tank. So let's see. Let's take these parts off. They look pretty bad. So let's take these off. All right. And then we open storage, and we get these to. We send these out to be outsourced repaired. We can always repair them ourselves, but for the tutorial, we outsource it. In the meantime, I can show you guys the tank. Let's hop inside. Hey, Cyber Bunny, how you doing? So this is the inside of a KV-1, and oh god, it's cramped. So here's where the gunner would sit. Well, actually, I'm in the commander's seat. The gunner sits over here. So... Uh, did we, did they get the seats confused? Uh, maybe not, but yeah, so, yeah, here's where you'd sit. Where's this driver sit? Oh, God. Yeah, that's extremely cramped. The commander and the gunner are up there. The driver sits down here with the two sticks. Okay, so where's the loader? Oh, I see. So the commander doesn't... So there's two seats. Someone's got to stand up. Probably the loader. Ugh. It's, ugh. God, get me out of here. Ugh. That's extremely cramped and uncomfortable. Yeah, you're right, Aurora. Uh, down in front. Yeah, no kidding. I'm doing good, Cyber Bunny. I just, uh... Mm. Like I said at the start, I've got class tonight, so I wanted to do something a bit more laid back. All right, let's get this thing patched up. There we go. That's all he wanted, so let's let him know the job's done. Finished. All right, now people are already sending us stuff, but I'm going to ignore those for right now. We need to focus on the tutorials. I have another tank, this time to be assembled. You need to buy the missing parts for my T-3476 in the shop and assemble them. Okay. Let's take a look at this T-34. Behold the T-3476, the workhorse of the Soviet armored, armored fist. 
considered by many to be the best medium, the best tank design of World War II because it combined all three aspects. It had good armor, it was fast, and it had a pretty good gun. The T-34-85 would improve upon this, but for the starting period, yeah, T-34-76 was a good tank. Now, mechanical problems notwithstanding, it did have some mechanical issues. All right, let's get inside. Oh God, this one's even worse. All right, driver and the radio operator are down there. I'm in the commander's seat. Good God, I can't even see anything. Hold on. Okay, well, here's the optics. So at least they can see. But God, how are you supposed to get out? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, Thomas, this game's cool. All right. So, wow. Yeah, he's right. It needs to be assembled. Let's check what we got. All right. So, it's missing. Oh, wow. It's missing a lot. Okay. Yeah, it's missing a lot of parts. So, best thing to do in that case, then, is we will pop open this menu. And let's buy all the missing parts. Yeah, we want them bought and painted. So... Thank you. It's expensive, but it'll work. Now, you don't have to buy the parts paint, um, mm, like refurbished. You can buy them, like, rusted over and in bad shape. Oh. Hey, Leo. Thanks for the resub, bud. Appreciate it. Hmm. But yeah, you don't have to buy the te uh, the parts painted. You can buy them rusted over and mod and refurbish them yourself. But for the tutorial, they just give them to us. So, all right, let's put the thing back together, shall we? Come here, you. There we go. All right. All right, let's put this thing back together. Now, you do have to put them together in the pieces together in order. Certain times they won't, it'll be like, hey, you can't take this out or you can't put this back in until you're, it's finished. So, like in this case, we can't put the, uh, the exhaust pipe covers on until we put the exhaust pipes in. There we go. That is one finished T34. Check in and let them know it's done. Thank you for the hydrate and the posture check. Appreciate it. All right, she's all finished. All right, what do we got here? I don't have any tanks for you right now, but I know about a place where you can find and dig out a tank. It will be yours. Good luck. All right, let's go dig one up. Before we do that, though, we're going to need some par uh, some stuff. Let's see. I do want the test drive area so we can show off everything, but for now, let's go... Uh, hmm. Let's go dig out a tank. The worst tank to have to maintain? Um, all of them. Hmm. But from what I've heard, it was the Tiger tank that uh, most of the reports talk about the Tiger tank having a lot of issues. Mainly because the Tiger, like, uh, the Tiger had issues like oil, uh, fuel filters clogging up, the engine breaking down. Again, everything had its problems. Anyway, let's check the map here. All right, over here in this field. So, all right. How do I start this thing up? Oh, right. There we go. Let's go. So we'll drive out to this field, and then I've got a metal detector so we can start looking around. Thank you for streaming this. Treading carefully is a smart move. Ugh, thanks, Sipco. No, um, no problem. I wanted to do something laid back today since, like I said, I've got class tonight. So, hmm. And this seemed like fun. And yeah, Aurora is correct, Thomas. Uh, the tiger was an over-engineered uh, big cat, so... Let's see. Huh. Ah! Ah! Get me out of this wheat! Enough with this wheat! Uh, to quote Call of Duty 3, ENOUGH OF THIS WHEAT! 
looks like it's fenced off. I'm just gonna have to drive through the... Ow. Okay, well. Yeah, it's totally fenced off, so there's probably another way in. Map. Oh, of course. Just... Yeah, Zarook, just go to the, you know, actually go to where the frickin' entrance is, instead of driving around like a moron. Yeah, I know, I went the long way. But somewhere out there is a, is a tank. Ready to be dug up. And it may not be a normal tank. It could be an armored car, it could be a half-track, it could be any armored vehicle. That's the cool part. So... I want you to get the mouse. Hey, if I find a mouse, I'll gladly refurbish it, but good luck. All right, let's see. Take a left turn here. And yeah, once we get here, we'll have to use our metal detector to find where it is. And at that point, we can either dig it out or dig it up ourselves with a shovel, or we can call an extracting team, and they'll come and excavate the place. All right. Now, the problem is we don't have... We've only got a metal detector. We don't have any, like, high-tech stuff right now. So we got to look for it manually. <laughs> oh, God. There you go. There's a spin. Let's see. Sometimes if you get lucky, you'll see part of the vehicle sticking up. So if we see any metal or something... Whoop! Hold on. Here. Whoop, no. There. Yep, right in this area. Alright. I want to save my money. So, let's go get a shovel and see what we dig up. Because it does... It costs a good deal of money for an extracting team. So... Come here. Yeah. Hmm. Like it said, essentially we don't... Mm. We don't know if we found a tank or not, so it's good to start with the shovel, and if you do find something big, then call the extracting team. All right. Uh. Oh, yeah, we found something. I don't recognize the, cup uh, the cupola, so let's keep digging and see what we... Hmm... Okay, that looks like a Russian design. Or not. Hold on. That gun's a lot longer than I thought it would be. Hmm. Aurora. Yeah, Aurora's right. Sometimes it could be like junk rather than an actual tank. So it's good to check. Is this a KV-1? No. Turret's too big. Or is it? That, that looks like a KV-1. Hmm. Hang on. Whoops. No, that's a, uh, no, that's a, well, hold on. Ah, quit dropping the shovel. Yes, even in the forest of memories, we have to, everyone has to do manual labor from time to time. No, that looks like a K... No, is that a T-34? Yeah, it looks like a T-34. Huh, how about that? Wait, an 85? Yeah, that might... That actually... Yeah, that might be... That's a T-34-85. Huh, how about that? The next step in the T-34's evolution. 
All right, well, we can dig all we want. We're not going to get it out ourselves, so we need to call an extraction team. Let's see. Return to the tab and call the excavation crew. Yeah, I need to call them out here. Because it'll... And again, they're the ones who bring the tools we need to, like, get it out of the hole. So now that we know it's a tank, we need to call them out here. All right. Close this. Yep. Oh, we found something, but we've run into a water source. Pump it out. Oh, great. Well, that's great. So it's flooded, so we'll have to pump the water out, and then we can go in and clean the place, uh, clean the tank up. All right, let's see this baby. Oh yeah, that's a T thirty four eighty five. All right. Not bad, all things considered. I have to check the inside, but I mean, she looks... Ah, uh, she's missing her tracks, but... Aside from that, not too bad. She's missing the top cover, but... It's got everything else. Huh. Alright, let's clean this thing off. can't clean the whole tank, but we can clean a good amount of it. Hmm. I wonder what the inside looks like. Hold on. Problem is I have to look at like all the different parts to make sure it's cleaned. All right, let's take a look at the inside. It's already rusted over. Ah, well, got a, uh... She's got a bit of a hole in the bottom of her. Aside from that, though, she's looking pretty good. All right, let's get her out of here, boys. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Let's head on back. All right, yeah, she's only... Mm, she's 10% complete, so she's pretty banged up. But here it is. Mm. T-34-85. No this, no, this is a 76. I was right. Barrel's too... Uh, gun's too small. That's a 76. All right, let's take a look at her. Ooh, God, yeah, she's in bad shape. She's mostly assembled, though. She's missing 15% of her parts. But, hmm, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I am gonna turn in this mission so we can at least get paid for it. Oh, check my emails. All right, well, we'll do that in a minute. Let's clean this thing up. So here's how you do that. Hmm. First thing we're going to do is, uh, is sp basically, sp well, hold on. I wonder, should I get all the parts first or should I clean it up? Yeah, you don't get paid for tank extractions. I don't care. It's cool to have this here. So the question is, do I get all, like, what is she? I don't think she's, she's not missing a lot. That's the thing. She's not missing a lot of parts. So, yeah, she is not missing a lot of parts. So, we could totally get all the parts and then just patch it up. So, I think that's what we'll do. She's not missing a lot. So, let's buy the missing parts. And you, let's you send them to me painted. 
So I don't have to worry. Ooh, that's expensive. Never mind. Uh, never mind. I will... I'll... Mm -mm -mm. I'll, I'll do the maintenance myself in that case. Just give me the missing parts, and I don't care if they're rusted. I'll do it myself. There we go. All right. Let's fix it first. Yeah, it's not in good shape, but we'll clean. We'll take care of that once it's all assembled. Put everything back together. So yeah, like I said, the workhorse of the Soviet Armored Fist is the T-34 family. That being the 76 and then later the 85. Get this thing all patched up. There we go. Put this, drill that in. And thankfully, all the missing parts, uh, we can... It gave them all. It gave all of them to us, so we don't have to like be like, "Oh, we're missing this part. Go get the other. Uh, go get it." All right, that's the missing track. I believe. What else was missing? Let's see. What else was missing from it? Ah, the engine cover. Right. Uh, hold on. I gotta see that. Thank you. What do you mean there's a parent part missing? Oh! Oh, I gotta pull the engine out. Okay, hold on. Alright, hold on. There we go. And, yeah, the engine's missing a lot of parts. Good thing we pulled it out, though. Hmm. Yeah, there's a huge chunk of the engine missing. Hold on. All right, now that I pulled that out, put the rest of this on. Huh, this one actually has its machine guns. Neat. Hey, Marketo, how you doing? Been a while. Just doing some tank, uh, tank mechanic simulator. Alright, what else are we missing? Alright, she's assembled. Good. So, next step. The next step is refurbishing it. So here she is, all put back together. The engine's over there. So first things first. Uh, no, not this one. There we go. Let's get the rust off this thing. So we'll take the rust off of each and every part of the tank. After that, we'll then go after we... Whoop. After we finish removing the rust, we'll sandblast it. We'll work on the, We'll do the engine first. Make sure I got every part of it. Yep. That looks like it. All right. Now, let's sandblast this thing. So after you've gotten rid of the rust, like I said, it's time to sandblast. So, get our sandblaster. And, yeah, the sound effects on this are kind of weak. A sandblaster is loud, and it is a destructive piece of gear. I've seen one used in action. It literally just tears everything apart. All right. There we go. So, engine condition, 100%.
So we could stop here if we wanted to, but Zaruk Windcaller doesn't leave things half done. So let's prime it. Oh, it's already. Oh, never mind. He can't prime the engine. All right, she's done. So let's put her back. But we are going to be priming and painting the tank itself. But let's put the engine back first. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm going to leave it for now because let's get the rest of the tank picked, uh, fixed up and then we'll put the engine back in. Hmm. All right. Let's get the rest off this thing. And once we're done, we can sell this. We can sell it or we could donate it to a museum. Whatever we want to do with it. Honestly, I'll see how much it's worth. So yeah, we'll just take off as much of the rust as we can, and then we'll go back with a sandblaster and get rid of everything else in a minute. <laughs> well, I believe... Here's the thing. I believe in doing a job to the best of your ability. Even if you fail, at least you put 100% into it. That's the way I see it. Yeesh. I'm not surprised the girl's in such bad shape. She's been out in the field for who knows how long. Still. She'll look good as new when I'm done with her. And here's the best part. I bought the train the the driving field. So once we're done with her, uh-oh. Ah. All right, so replaceable only. So we cannot remove the rust on this. We would have to replace the part. Great. Same thing with the toolbox and the tow rope. <sighs> okay, well, I'll worry about that in a minute. Let's just take care of all this stuff. And it... Actually, you know what? Better idea. All right, if it's, only, if it's replaceable only, let's take them off. If we can't refurbish them, we'll just take them off. We might have to buy new ones, but hey... It'll be worth it, hopefully. Depends on how expensive they are. Gotta make sure we get the inner parts here, the suspensions. That reminds me, I have to go check the other one, make sure I didn't miss any over there. Alright, get rid of the matlet rust. Okay, looking pretty good. We'll have to do the inside too, so just because we're done here doesn't mean we're done, we're ready to start sandblasting. We gotta get inside the tank. All right, more parts to take off. The toolbox, this tow rope, and this saw. Well, at least we know how it ki uh, what killed it. It's a massive hole in the side. All right, let's hop up here. Okay, I may have to get, ah, uh, well, I have to get in, hold on. I really wish I could, like, open this up. Oh, like that, that'll work. Okay. Got that, let's see if I can, uh. Will I weld the hole or keep it? Don't know. I think it adds to the charm to see how the tank was taken out. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure a museum wouldn't like a giant hole in their tank. So. Alright, I may have to get down in the... Yep, I'm gonna have to get down in here. I 
I'm going above and beyond for this, but I don't really care. It's kind of cool to be able to do this. All right. I think we're good, so... If I can, if I can get out... Okay. All right. All right. Hmm. Let's sandblast this bitch. Ah, I missed one. Hold on. Glad I checked. I missed a suspension arm. Yep, missed a few of them. It's always frustrating to be halfway done and then be like, oh, wait, I missed one. And once we get her repaired, we can test drive her, which is why I bought the test driving course. So that'll be cool. All right. Back to sandblasting. And hey, this way you guys will get to see what a tank would look like after it came off the factory floor before it was primed and painted. E is your friend. Ah, yeah, you're right. With this, I can see what's been uh, what's been done, the uh, quality on everything. Thanks for the tip. I forgot about that. Forgot about this button. All right, looking pretty good. I do like that the sandblaster goes in a cone. So, ah, so even if you, um, so you don't have to directly aim at all the pieces. It'll hit everything. And like I said, again, a real sandblaster would be loud as hell. As the sand strips off everything. Hmm. Yeah, apologies, Duke. I'm sorry if the, if the light is kind of burning your eyes, but it's necessary so I can see everything. It'll get better, I promise. Consider this a pet project. In the game... Hmm. The main point of the game is that sometimes you'll get... People will, you know... Will uh, pay you to do stuff. This is a pet project because I found this tank and I'm refurbishing it. And bringing it back to life. Most time people don't ask for that. They're just like, hey, get rid of this rust. Or hey, do this, do that. And here's my mindset. If they bring me a tank missing a tread and they just say, hey, just get rid of the rust for us. Okay, I'll get rid of the rust on it. You didn't ask me to put the track back on it. So that's my way of thinking. All right, let's get down in here. Oh no, Marketo, this is just uh, the color so I can see what needs to be sandblasted. All right, let's get out of this thing. Let me out. Let me out! Let me out! Okay. Alright, there we go. Look at that! Right off the factory floor. Beautiful. Oh, wait. I think I forgot something. Yep, thought so. I forgot to get the uh, inside parts in here. Glad I checked. Where's my rust removal tool? Oh, uh, the hammer's for breaking things off. Like if there's stuck bolts or something. Haven't run into that problem yet. Alright, let's get in there. Still cramped. Still very uncomfortable. Oh, come on. Alright, well... 
again, some parts of it are only, re are, you know, they have to be replaced. So let's take care of everything in here, and then we'll, uh, we'll worry about that. Yeah, for some reason the ammunition boxes are rust are you don't you don't have to replace them you can just clean them up but this but this chest has to be replaced so all right let me out oh yeah I know you can remove the turret but I actually like getting in the tank Back inside. Yeah, some, for some reason I hopped in here without a mask on, so I'm probably suffocating from all this sand being blasted. Because again, if you guys have never been around a sand blaster, you're gonna, you're gonna want every, like, the biggest and toughest mask you can put on. He means remove the turret to uh to clean everything or take care of everything, Duke. He doesn't mean rip it off. All right. All right, I've got it. Let me. I don't want to lose this, so let me drop it and let me get back in. What do you mean? That, wait. What do you mean? Dissemble this element. The parent module needs to be placed on the stand. Wait. So, the hell. The hell you mean? Are you, are you telling me I have to pull the turret off? Okay. All right. That's what it means, right, uh, Aurora? Hmm. Because it says the parent part has to be removed, so I'm guessing I have to pull the turret off. Great. All right. Well... Okay, where to start? Well, start from the top, I guess. Oh, they're all in bad shape. And the viewer, too. Hold on. The viewer can be treated, but the rest of them can't, so... Yep. Okay, hold on. There. I don't want to fall in there. Wait, where'd I drop my... Oh. Great. Alright, well, we're gonna have to take this turret off so we can fix that, but... First things first, let's get that viewer fixed. Move the turret to the stand. I will. One second. There we go. But hey, we can put the engine back in. There we go. Now, where's the turret stand? Is this it? That's got to be it. Yeah, this is the turret stand, isn't it? Oh. There we go. Found it. Okay, now let's get this thing off. Hey, Draken, how you doing? All right. Everything in there is fine. Now let's get these things out. Again, they have to be replaced. We can't refurbish them. All right. Hmm. Okay. Well, if that's the case... Oh, wait. Let me put those back on before I forget. Because I don't want... I definitely don't want to get rid of those. Let's put those back on. Ah! 
There. Okay, there we go. Yep. Hmm. You have to replace these. So, I guess, hmm, let's see. I guess the best thing to do in this case would, I mean, I don't, if they have to be replaced, I don't want to outsource them. Yeah, I know you can get them outsourced, but I mean, how much is it? Huh, it's not that bad. Fair enough. That's not that bad. I'll make way more off getting them fixed. All right. Yep. Sure am, Draken. Today's a simple day because I got class later, so I wanted to do something simple. Now then. While we wait on those parts, let's prime this bitch. And I know some of the artists out there are probably screaming, why is the primer red? I have no idea. Don't ask me. Wait a minute. Is that a bad screw right there? Hang on. Uh, I mean, it's not lighting up for me, so I'm going to assume that it's fine. And yeah, I know some primers can be red. I just never thought a tank's primer would be red. Ah, I missed a spot. Dang it. Get my way. But I dropped my rust remover. Oh, it's over here. Oh, nope. Never mind. Hold on. Where's my, uh... There it is. There we go. Just reset everything back to way the way it was. Let's see if I can fix those screws. Nope. Alright, well. I'm just gonna assume that's a glitch then. There's another one in there. Oh, right. I grabbed the sandblaster. Oops. Screws are only to be replaced. But I just put these tracks in. Hold on. All right, well... In that case. Ah, I see another spot in there that's rusted. Ah, man. Yeah, I can see it in there. Shock absorber. Okay, hold on. Where's my... Come here. Oops. Okay. That was easy. Now then. Just shove this in there. There we go. Anyway. Great. Well, with the bad screws, we're just going to have to take... Yep, we're just going to have to take a lot of this stuff off. We'll put it back, but for now, I just have to take these out. Ah, another bad shock absorber. The screws are probably bad on the other side, too, so it's probably a good thing I'm doing this. Ah! I need my butterfingers today. All right. Here we go. 
All right, any others? No? All the screws over here are okay. Let's go check over there. Wait a minute. Ah, got a, uh, got a suspension arm that I missed. Note to self, use the highlighting tool more often so I can see where all these spots are. Let's get that fixed up. There we go. Much better. And everything in there is okay, so we're good. Draken, this is a T3476. There we go. Screws are replaced. Let's put the tracks back on. Oh, nope. They're still red. So, you know what? Screw it. If it breaks, I'll fix it. But for now, it's fine. Again, like uh, like Aurora said, it's going in a museum anyway, so. All right. There we go. Tracks are back on. Let's get to priming. Where's my priming tool? There it is. We dug this um mm, dragon, we dug this T3476 up out of a out of a field. Yeah, those screws are gonna be an eyesore, but hey, I'm just trying to get the tank to a presentable state. And besides, it's not like the screws are locked in there. If the museum wants to do wants to replace those screws, they can. I'm giving them back a fully put together tank. They should be thankful for that. Once everything's primed, we will paint it and we'll put the turret back on. And then after that, we'll test drive the thing and then we'll hand it off to a museum or we'll sell it. Depends on how much money I can get out of it. I see that shock absorber in there. Let's get this thing fixed. Where's my... Well, where'd I drop it? Oh, there it is. I'll check the lot in a second. Let's get this thing fixed up. Consider this my first pet project, as it were. Look, my ultimate pet project would be to find a, like you said, find a mouse tank and get that fixed up. But chances of finding a mouse tank are rare, so. All right. I need to get down in there in the engine, so. Working on the turret. Alright. Let's paint the inside of this turret now. Whoops, wrong button. Alright. Let's paint the inside of this turret. I'll also attach all the pieces in here before I leave. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Let's get out of this. 
Look at that. Soviet green. Prime the barrel. And the man and the gun jacket. And the viewer. Okay, now. Look at that. Isn't it perfect? Oh, I didn't finish priming that. There we go. There we go. Perfect. The turret exterior is finished. Drop this. Get under here. And let's put these pieces back. There we go. Hold on. Did I... Ah, gotta prime this. Of course I do. Alright. There we go. Now paint this. And that should take care of the turret interior. Yep. Good as gold. Perfect. Alright. We'll keep it off for right now because I gotta finish everything. Let's see. Oh, come on. There's another shock absorber in there. Great. All right. Well. Let's hop in, then. I need to be able... Whoop. I forgot. I detached the tank. I detached the turret. Ah. <sighs> All right, we got to get in there and do some work because I saw another shock absorber in there that wasn't finished. So let's open the engine hatch and get in there. Oh, yeah, I should probably pull the engine out, shouldn't I? There. All right, let's get in there. Huh. All right, well, I can't access the shock absorbers. Whoa! Uh, well then. That'll work. Don't... I just clipped through the tank, but okay. Makes it easier. Easy to fix the tank if I can just teleport out of it. Alright, let's see. Yeah, the shock absorbers are in bad shape. If we tried... If I tried to take this out and drive it around now, yeah, it wouldn't get anywhere. Like I said, I know nothing about mechanic work, so the fact that I'm I'm like, oh wait, the shock absorbers, I can reach them under the vehicle. Okay, get my sandblaster. Speaking of which, put this back in. There we go. I'm not going to do something stupid and try to drive the tank without an engine. I'm not going to do that. All right. Almost done. Make sure we get all the shock absorbers. <laughs> do it. Engines are optional. Not on this thing. You see, comrade, if you want to... Wait, final drive? Oh, I see it. You see, comrade, if you want to go fast in T-34, engine must be working. You can't drive without engine, though comrade Stalin thinks that we can. Final drive. Hold on. All right, the final drive cover needs sanding. 
Yeah, sometimes I wonder if I was just better off just taking the whole damn thing apart. Guy can dream. All right. Takes care of that. Oh, yeah, I gotta prime it. Not this one, you moron. Should be noted, the T-34s, despite the... Mm, T-34s were known for breaking down a lot. They broke down a lot. But, I mean, to their credit, even when they did break down, they were still pretty useful, so... Oh, I was already painting that. Okay. All right. Let's get the shock absorbers. And then once this baby's painted, we'll take it out for a test drive. <laughs> Watch it with that spray gun. What'd you say? Spray somebody. Yeah. Though, Aurora, in the Aurora, did bring up a good point. Do we want to weld the hole in the turret where it got knocked out? Honestly, I don't think so. I'm going to keep it. Adds character. Chicks dig scars. As the mighty jingle says, live fast, die young, and leave a good-looking corpse. Don't forget the... Yeah, I haven't forgotten the ropes and the other attachments. Don't worry. Thanks for reminding me, though, Duke. get up under there in a minute and get the shock absorbers. Oh, this is going to be a lot easier when I get enough renown to buy a tool belt. Yeah, the red dots. Hmm. Yeah, those are the screws that I mentioned. I'm not really worried about them. If they break the tank, then I'll fix them. But as of now, the thing says the tank can run just fine, so I'm good. All right, we're almost done. Then we get to see how beautiful this thing looks fully painted. Still got to get the top. I may be a military history guy, but even I wouldn't want to drive one of these things. It's too cramped. I don't get claustrophobia or anything, but ew. All right. Let's reattach the turret. All right, turn this off. Look at that. Look, honest. Look at that. It's amazing. All right, assembly mode. Let's put the stuff back on. Yeah, there's the hole in it. Mm. 
Look at that. Look at that. She's perfect. Per oh, wait. Are we missing a toe line? Oh, no. It's right there. Look at that. Perfect. Only took an hour. Huh. Do I want to patch that? Well, nah, chicks dig scars. Leave it be. Now then, where's my test drive thing? There it is. This is a T3476. I'm good, Rejo. Hmm. I have class tonight, so I decided to do something a bit more laid back. So, playing tank mechanic simulator. Close the hatch. All right. Let's fill the tank up. Does it have multiple fuel tanks? Yep, it does. Or rather, there it's on both sides. Okay. Fueled up. Make sure we got oil in it. I don't know how much to put in there because it's not telling me, so. All right. And then put the coolant in. Nope, remember, uh, even I may not be a mechanic, but even I know, don't drive a car without some of these. Don't drive any vehicle without these fluids. Just don't. All right. Should be it. So, start the engine. Uh, whoa. Hot damn. Uh, who's, who's periphery am I looking from? Hang on a minute. Uh, what is up with the camera? Hold on, give me the driver's position. There we go. Or not, I guess. Hold on. Yeah, I can't, the camera's acting up. I can't see out of the tank. There we go. That's, well, it was better. Hold on. Ah, this will work. Wish I could zoom out. Oh. He's a little loud. There we go. That's better. Oh, God. Oh, that that's way better. I was about to say, is this how you had to drive the thing? No, you drive it like this. Until you get into battle. She's speedy. Just hit 40 mot. We were topping 40. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, if I saw one of these things coming at me full speed, I, yeah, I may decide otherwise. Yeah, this thing, yeah, outside, this thing's loud. But then again, I don't know many tanks that are quiet. All right, let's go back inside. What the... Okay. Well, now the question is, what do we do with her? 
Let's see. It's worth. Oh my god, it's worth 50,000! Woo! Ah, the final drive's kind of messed up. I just noticed that. Well. Hold on, I can get in there. Where's my. Yeah, it's alive! Yep, it is. Ah, oh, crap. It's way... It's deep in there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's right there. I mean, aside from that... Oh, there we go. Fixed. So the thing is, do I want to donate it to the museum or do I want to sell it? Hmm. I got people saying sell. All right, we'll sell it. She's worth... Yeah, we'll sell her. Yep. Thank you. Just made bank on that. Damn. That was a pet project. All right, let's check my mailbox. All right. Tank requires de-rusting. Your Uncle Tom has recommended you to us. We would like to order de-rusting of the turret and hull exterior. Okay. I mean, you just need de-rusting? That's... Oh, God! Yeah, okay. Just to make sure... Yeah, they just want the... Uh, whoop, no, we're not done. They just want the rust removed. Okay. Okay. I believe this is a, um, this is a Sherman. This is an Easy 8 Sherman. Yep. M4A3E8. An Easy 8. Cool. I mean, they just wanted it de-rusted, which I'm like, all right. But I mean, that doesn't, it's still going to look like trash. You sure you don't want it sandblasted too? I mean, that's the tough part of this for me, is they're just like, oh yeah, just get the rust off of this. And I'm like, but it looks like trash. I could make it better. I could sandblast and at least make it look good. But no, they just want the rust taken off. Pretty sure that's what the job was. Oh, gotta get the cannon base and the muzzle brake. Okay. Yep, they just want the rust taken off. All right. Okay, there. That's your really shit job. You just wanted it de-rusted. All right. Next. Hmm. We have a bigger request. We would like to order to de-rust as well as sandblast the exterior of the tank. Hmm. All right. Well, Rejo, the reason it's such an odd job hmm, is because I'm just starting out, so they don't want to give me anything big. They don't trust me yet, basically. All right, so, uh, so de-rust and sandblast. Fair enough. Where's my de-rusting tool? I think I dropped... Ah, it's right there. All right. Ah, come on. Yeah, replaceable only. Well, that's... Let me see if that's part of the gig. Hold on. Is that part of the gig? Because if it says the cases, then they lied to me. Yep. You, you assholes. You lied. Because it's replaceable only. You can't... They lied to me. Of course they did. All right, well. Hmm. 
Yeah, oh, just de-rust and sand the thing for us. Oh, but some of these things you can't do that to, so just replace them for us. Assholes are gonna cost me money. Fine, I'll pull them off. You just wanted them sandblasted, so fine. That's all you're getting. Wait, what? I pulled those parts off. Why aren't they in there? Oh, this is a Pershing. No wonder. This is an M26. There it is. All right. I don't need them. I don't need them in good... They just wanted them sandblasted, so just... Hmm. Yeah, so just sand them. They're not paying me to get them, like, prime condition. Yeah, never accept a job without knowing all the info. Well, that's the thing. They didn't tell me that part. They kind of hid it in the details. As it is, the devil's in the details. And they said the exterior, so I'm only doing the exterior. I don't even want to imagine what the interior looks like. And if the interior is in great shape, great for good for them. All right, we're good. Let's get the sand blaster out. <laughs> Today on American Tank Shop, Zaruk is pissed because of a lying client. Hmm. Well, the thing is, they didn't exactly... They didn't lie. They just left out the part where they're like, oh, yeah, you got to do this, too. I missed this part. I don't know how... I don't know exactly how de-rusting a lamp works. Pretty sure if the lamp's rusted over, you should probably just replace it. But what do I know? Am I going to play Cult of the Lamb? Probably not. I'm actually not a big fan of those bind of those kind of games. Like, I didn't like Binding of Isaac. So probably not. I might, but more than likely probably not. It does look cool. I've seen people play it. It looks interesting, but just not for me. There we go. All right, let's hop up on here. Ooh, yeah, that engine hatch is bad. So is the cover. In all honesty, I'm surprised they've got a Pershing. The, um, mm. the M26 Pershing, which is what this is, the M26 Pershing was a stopgap. Essentially, the United States needed a tank that could compare with the heavy tanks that the Germans were rolling out. And that's what the Pershing was for. But she's a, um, she's a very stopgap tank. She's, eh, she's okay, but she's not great. That's the thing, though. She wasn't meant to replace anything. She was just meant to give, uh, American forces big, a bigger gun, basically. Because this is a 90 millimeter cannon. This will punch through a tiger, no problem. All right. Sandblast the rest. All right. Top up here. There we go. All right. What did I miss? Ah, the rear brake lights. Got it. Okay. I love how the game's like, pick up the rust removal tool. I, there's nothing to, re there's nothing to fix anymore. I got, I fixed it all. All right, let's put everything back on now. And no, you guys paid me to sandblast. I will not, I am not and will not prime this thing for you. Okay, that should be... Yep, that's everything. All right, finished. Next. We would like to order a tank repairs. Our final goal would be to apply primer to the whole tank. Additionally, we would like you to replace parts that cannot be repaired by tools. You mean what I just did? 
Except for the priming part. All right. What are you sending me? Hmm. Hmm. Well, holy shit, an M10 Wolverine. How do you like that? Hmm. This is a tank destroyer. The M10 was a fast-moving, hard-hitting tank destroyer. Uh, problem was the armor's really thin, but that was so it can move quick. It's And it's fast. It can hit like 50 to 55 miles per hour. She's quick. All right, hold on. Let me see what I got in here. Aha, my tool belt. Uh, but I'm doing jobs here, so like all outsource repairs are done. Let's see. Shop. Uh, no, I, mm, I want my tool belt first off. Now the wor wor workshop room tools are always with you. You can select them by using the keys. Nice. All right. So let's check this out. All right, she's already assembled, but she is in bad shape. So, God. Well, let's get to work. Pull the engine out and pull the turret off. All right. So... All right. Wait, I don't need this. I can just press a button. There we go. All right. We'll go through and de-rust the thing. And if there's any parts that need to be replaced, we'll worry about those last. All right. Let's get down in here. See this massive tank in front of me and the showdown guitar music kicks in. Thanks, I appreciate that, Duke. Uh, we've already got uh, we've already got parts that need to be replaced. Great. All right. Well, let's repair everything we let's de-rust everything we can, then we'll worry about that. All right. So, pull this out. Yeah, so the radio and equipment. Yeah. Of course I can't fix that. And the chairs. What else? This case. And the extinguisher. Why the fuck is the fire extinguisher still in here all rusted over? Ropes. Yep, the ropes have to be replaced too. So. We can fix the antenna. Why would you put the antenna? Okay. Weird placement, but okay. All right, we can de-rust the bracket, but the uh, but the box has to go. There we go. These are extra tracks looks like who did my emotes um i have a few of them most of them were done by um hold on that's a good question let me look those up real quick my emotes uh were done by mm. Mm, hold on so there's actually two emote artists mm. the first one one of them is listed down in the about section but the one who did, like, the EDF, the Welcome, and a lot of my new ones that I wish I could post for y'all, but Twitch kind of limits how many uh, emotes you can have, um, were done by... Let me grab their name, and I'll put them in here for you. And they're a really cool artist. Let me grab their thing in here. Ah, here it is. They were done by a person named Plurp on Twitter. Let me grab their username here. Here you go. Plurp did a lot of the, um, Plurp did a lot of the, uh, oh, okay, let me give you an idea. Mm. 
the Blood for the Blood God emote, the EDF emote, the Order, the Welcome, the Bigger and Smaller emote, the his the Facts emote, and then the Zara Redeem emote were all done by Plurp. I'll put their thing right here. There you go. That's Plurp. So go follow them or give them business. They're really cool. Boop. Who booped me? I got booped. Who has done this? But yeah, if you want to see some of Plurp's emotes, you have to do some of the sound alerts that I have now. And you'll see some of them, like the welcome. Hmm. Like the welcome. Oh. Hey! Hello, love 100 high. Three hello, lunchtime. Yeah. hello, Fountain Stranger. Yeah, I decided to do a quick little stream today as a, kind of a kickback and relax stream. Um, but yeah, a lot of the new emotes, like the bigger, smaller, the history with Zaruk emotes, those are all done by Plurp. Essentially, if it has words on it, then Plurp did it. And he did an amazing job. Let's see. All right, that's the... Let's take care of all the wheels and everything. At least the screws are in good shape. I'd be really upset if I had to remove all of those. You summoned Amina. Oh. Hmm. But yeah, that Plurp did a lot. Any of the any of my emotes that have words on them, that's Plurp. As for the other ones, uh, like the normal ones, like the the smile, the laugh, all that kind of stuff, or the concern face, those were done by another artist, and their information is down below in the about section for me. Like I have it listed as emote artist. I need to put Plurp down there now that I think about it. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, it does kind of remind you of Power Wash Simulator, doesn't it? Except in this case, I'm not cleaning stuff. I'm fixing tanks, which is way cooler. Yeah, I can I can understand that, Duke. Do you have the patience for something like this where you're actually fixing a tank? All right, suspension mounts. Get that roller wheel. Make sure I didn't miss anything over here. All right, looks like we're pretty good. Yep. All right, that takes care of that part. Still got to do the engine and the turret. Pretty sure this is not how you de-rust an engine, but because I'm pretty sure like doing any kind of I don't know if this does damage or anything, but still. All right, let's get this all off, and we'll take care of the engine first because you don't have to you don't prime the engine you just sandblast it. Thankfully, it looks like the engine doesn't have any parts that need to be replaced or anything, so that's good. We don't have to worry about that. All right. So got to do the turret too. That won't take as long though. So the M10 Wolverine is an, as you can see, is an open-topped armored vehicle. Hmm. This is because the gun was a bit bigger and it need the guys needed more space to move around to load it. But it's also because it's a tank destroyer. It's not meant to go head-to-head -head with tanks. It's supposed to move around uh, really quick, flank the enemy, and uh, hit weak points. All right, yeah, we got some parts we need to remove in here.
Yep, control panel and a lot of the cases and everything in here need to be fixed, so. All right, well, let's pull them out. Pull this out, pull this out, and pull this out. There we go. All right. So that takes care of that. Let me start, uh, let me get these parts fixed. All right, they wanted them all primed, so just prime them for me. Thank you. Apparently I'm missing a spot on the, uh, on the, the rust removal. What am I missing? Ah, the shackle. Where's that? How the hell? Oh, right there. I was about to say, how the hell am I supposed to get in there? It's back there. All right, let's fix that. Okay, anything else? If it's at 33%, then you know it's been, uh, you know it's been rust removed. Ah, we're missing some stuff here. The bogey frame bracket. Ah. Okay, I can fix that. There we go. What else? Nothing here. The exterior. The wheels. Ah, another frame bracket. There we go. All right, wheels are done. Oh, wait, no. I missed a pin. Ah, all right. Am I gonna have to pull that one out? Ah, oh, shit, where is it? Hang on. See, I wish it would let me, like, work on it from here. Like, when I open this up, I can see where the part is. Uh, another frame bracket? Oh, right there. See, I can see that. There. That was easy. But, like, it's the other stuff. Like, where is it? That pen. So it's right there. So. There we go. Anything else? No. Looks good. Next, the engine. Nope. All good there. Fuel system's fine. And the gearbox is... Oh, wait. We missed the generator regulator. How in the hell am I going to get in there? I'd have to... Uh, I got to pull the floor up. There. Now, let me get in there and actually fix that. I love how I'm like, how the hell? And then I'm like, oh, wait, just pull the floor up. All right, let's get in there. Okay. That should be every... That's, um... That should be everything just, you know, by... In regards to the tanks, like... Uh, de-rusting it. Yeah, it's missing some pieces, but that's because I pulled them out. Ah, hold on. The radio case and the cockpit. Okay, those I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to pull out. Let's see. Yep, gotta pull this out. And pull that out. Okay. Hey, I got some more parts for you guys to fix, because I missed some. Just, uh... Just prime them. Thank you. Alright, so while that's going on, let's move on to sanding. Right, let's start with the turret. Alright, see you, Thomas. Have a good one. 
And once we sandblast everything, we gotta prime it. But other than that, we'll be good as gold. Yeah, you can see this gun was so powerful for such a uh, for such a tank destroyer that they needed counterbalances on the thing to prevent it, you know, to well prevent it from getting knocked off or you know thrown off target. All right, let's see. Let's get down in there. All right. And we should be able to put some of the pieces back in here. There we go. Now let's uh, put it back together. Or, well, thought I could. Switch to... Hold on. Let me get over here. Assembly mode. All right. Let's put it back together. All right. Good. So these have been sandblasted. They'll just need to be primed. That's good. Yep. All good in here. Let's see if we can put anything else back. Yep. We can put everything back in here. Oh, right. I need to, uh, I need to remove this for a second so I can clean, so I can sandblast this. I said sandblast. Thank you. Just sandblast all of this stuff. We get the interior and then we'll get the exterior. Plus, since I got that down there, we might have to take the floor out again later, but actually, I've got an, a way we can fix that. Hold on. Okay, so before I forget, let's just go ahead and prime this so we don't have to worry about it later. There we go. Get the interior so we don't have to worry about it. And then we can put the floor back in. Oh, I need to finish sanding this. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I saw Mr. Sleep does have a talk show. I'm pl I'm happy for him. Mr. Sleep uh Mr. Sleep deserves some attention. He's cool. I like him. He's a cool, laid-back guy, and I'm glad he's getting some more success. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Put the floor back in. There we go. But yeah, y'all need to check out Mr. Sleep. He, he sometimes, he streams kind of late, but trust me, he's a cool guy, and he deserves the attention. He's cool. Also, I just saw I was on, I'm under a Wiggly attack. Unfortunately, the Wigglies are going to have to get in line behind the tank. I'm a little distracted at the moment. I love how it's like, hey, pick up the paint gun to prime it. I'm not done yet. I will prime the tank when I'm good and ready. Okay, let's do the engine real for, real quick. Crowd surf on the Wigglies. Hey, I'll go for it. Cataclysm summons enough of them. Yeah, but like I said earlier, I've got class tonight. Um, 
I've already got my master's degree. This is just a certificate that'll help me in my job field. So, yeah, my class is from uh, from 6 to 8.45 p.m. This is why I'm doing this stream now. Because, well, obviously, I'm not going to come home and do a midnight stream or something. I need to sleep. So, yeah. And who knows? These little laid-back streams may continue. It depends on how rigorous school it or classes are. Who knows? Yeah, it's another attack. More Wigglies. Those Wigglies remind me. I need to reconnect with Glaze and see if she wants to play Gigabash or something. I haven't talked to her in a while. I know she did a uh, she did a mm, a subathon or a fundraiser recently, and I heard that was pretty successful. Or it might have been a drive of some kind. I don't remember. But I know it was successful, so good on her. But it's like I've said, Glaze is the embodiment of chaos. She literally, like, you don't know... Trying to predict Glaze is like trying to predict the future. You will fail. Trying to figure her out is impossible. But she is cool. There's a lot of VTubers out there that I have immense respect for. I respect Glaze because she's really laid back and cool and like... Mm. She's good at a lot of games. But she normally just chills and hangs out with her chat, and I respect that. Mm. Mm. There's a lady, um, there's Goddess of Exoria. Hmm. Like, Vexoria's awesome. Um, mm. I have immense respect for Vexoria. The fact that she's not only a mom, but she's really laid back and really nice. Um to everyone, I respect that immensely. I think she's cool. And then there's me, just trying to do his best. Alright, let's see. Alright. Oh, it's that... It's that damn pen. Move. There. Wait, the floor? I thought I fi I thought I fixed the floor. What's wrong? Oh, it needs to be painted. Okay, well, they didn't ask me to do that. So, that ain't happening. They just asked me to prime it. So, thank you for that, um, thank you for that shout out for Glaze Cataclysm, I appreciate it. But yeah, Glaze, Glaze could be a genuine speedrunner. She finds ways to break games in half, and I respect her for that. I respect Celazia too, even if we don't see eye to eye anymore on a, a lot of things, but that's okay. She's a fellow Warhammer fan, and I respect that. And I respect how dedicated she is to uh to her stream. I respect that too. And of course, then there's Lore Dragon, who, by the way, if y'all are not following Lore Dragon, what the hell are y'all doing? Lore Dragon is cool, energetic, and he's he makes VTube models now. Which is awesome, and he deserves respect for that. They're really good. And the fact that he can knock them out in such a short amount of time is impressive. Yeah, if Glaze is still live, uh, when we're done here, we'll go raid her. But Glaze streams on her own time. So, weird question for, mm, for anyone who's here. Uh, does anyone know any streamers? I know Tay or Take Two is, but does anyone know? Any, and I think Gabo is into it, or I don't know if she's a fan or if she's just into it. Does anyone know any streamers who are Gundam fans? Because I pre-ordered Gundam SD Gundam Battle Alliance, and I it would be cool to have a Gundam stream. 
I'm not a die-hard Gundam fan, but I do respect Gundam for how for like how innovative and how cool it was when it uh, came out. So, and Mobile Suit Gundam is one of my favorite animes. You know, it's a freaking war story. Can you tell that I like it? The thing, um. Mm. And yeah, at some point I may do a stream with Tay, Gundam-wise, but Tay recently lost a family member. I believe it was one of their grandparents. So Tay, Tay is not in the right headspace to be streaming. She, uh, she needs to take time to grieve because she lost a family member. And I will say it again, no matter what, fan your mental health and your personal stuff comes first. Even if you're a streamer, like... People who follow me on my Twitter or on my Discord know, like, I will, if there's something wrong, I will take time away from streaming. Everyone needs to do that. Yes, and, uh, and yes, Draken, uh, Draken's, uh, model was made by Lore. And hey, Rejo, if you get Battle Alliance, we could play it. It's literally, it's an action RPG game, so that could be fun. Let's hop up here. Put this back in here. All right, almost done. Boom, boom. Am I missing any? Ah, right. Okay. Am I, huh? Interior condition. Oh, right, I gotta put the parts back in. Yeah, I should probably do that. Sending him back a broken tank that's missing a lot of parts will probably get me in trouble. Uh, whoops, wrong slot. Uh, put me in the driver's position. There we go. Let's put all this back. Okay. Uh, pretty sure that's everything. Let's check what they wanted. Repaired. Oh, the tools. What? Uh, where's the tool sec? Where are the tools? Like, uh, hold on. I'll check that in a second. Oh, and the tow rope. Right, 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 right. Right, they go right here. And the tow rope. Yep, that'll be everything. Let's put the turret back on, else they'll get very mad at me. All right, let's put this back on. And let's put the engine back in. I'm pretty sure... Hmm. I'm pretty sure they want it all back, so we should probably put the engine back in it too. All right, that's it. Pay me. There we go. Next. All right. Yeah, I'll get to these extra ones in a minute. Repair and test the tank. Uncle Tom, I see that you're doing well. Congrats. I would like to ask you for a little favor. One of the tanks from my collection requires its drive system and engine to be fixed. Afterwards, take the tank to a test drive. All right. So, what are you giving me? Oh! That's a Panzer IV. So this is a Panzer IV off, uh, Alf G. Or, comp, uh, let's see, um, Panzer Kampfwagen IV, Alf G. So this is the G model. Um, it doesn't have the side skirts. I think the H model, it might be the F2 or the H model that gets the side skirts. And yes, you were re hearing me correctly. This is the G model. Which means they went through model A, B, C, D, E, F, F, uh, F, and F1 and F2, and then G, and then H. There were multiple models. All right, so he said the... What was wrong with it? Ah, the, uh, the wheels, the engine, and the track are messed up. All right. Well, let's get the turret off so we can take a look. Uh, I took the job already. What are you talking about? 
I'll worry about that later. All right, pull the engine out. Ooh, God, yeah, that engine's in bad shape. Let's, uh, let's fix that. Yeah, this is a Panzer IV engine. Panzer IV was the most wide, uh, mass-produced German tank of World War II. Oh, yeah, I see the problem. The belts. Okay, I'll show you guys in a second. Let me finish this up. Yeah, I can see one of the major problems why it's not running. Aside from the fact that it's rusted over. No, it's the, uh, I'll show you guys. It's the, uh, right here, it's the belts. The belts are completely rusted. Now, pretty sure the belts are made out of rubber, so I don't know how they, if anything, they should be, like, corroded or falling apart, not rusting over, but we are going to have to remove them. So, and we'll send them in for repairs. All right. Pretty sure the interior's fine. Also, yeah, check it out. This is the, uh, this is the bottom of the, of the turret. It's actually, it actually just slips down into the tank, which I think is pretty cool. All right. Well, let's start taking it apart. Oh, hold on. Take these uh, screws out. Yeah, this one's a yeah, this one's in bad shape. The final drive's busted. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a lot of work on this one. Yeah, Draken's right. There were lots of different pans models for the Panzer, but this is because um, hmm. time for a little free history fact. Here's the reason why. The issue with the Panzer, the Panzer program, is that the Germans made, rather than making big upgrades on each model, the Germans made small upgrades on each model. So like the Model A would then become the Model B, the Model C, so on and so forth, but each model change had small changes rather than giant ones. So this meant that there were Panzers coming out that had minor changes like a bigger commander cupola, better vision ports, you know, that kind of stuff. Not really worth a whole, you know, like a whole change. Ah, thank you. So yeah, that's the history lesson right there, is that the German program basically had, hmm, was making new models for small changes rather than big ones. Like, for example, to give you a comparison, the M4 Sherman, the American mass-produced tank, every Sherman, like if it was a complete model change, had something different about it. Like there was the M4, the M4A1 and A2, and then the A3, which would become the mainstay, and then, like, after that, you've got the M4A3E8, which is the Easy 8 You've got the M4, uh, M4 uh, Sherman J A2 Sherman Jumbo, which had, like, a bigger gun and bigger armor. But they were all, they all, like, aside from minor changes, they were all standardized, so you could fix them if something went wrong. Uh, German tanks didn't have that. Uh, didn't have that. All the tanks usually had different parts. So, and there was no standardization. So this meant, like, if your Tiger, like, mm, if your Panzer IV got busted, you would have to have Panzer IV parts. You couldn't, like, pull parts out of a Panzer III or something. You needed to have Panzer IV parts. Keep this going. All right, pull this track off. Pull these wheels off. And the reason I'm going to send these all in for outsourcing is because, uh... Well, not all of them, but a good amount of them is that some of the stuff I can't fix myself. It needs to be taken in. All right, hold on. We got to get the track off. Oh, wait. I saw a green color around here. Ah, we got to start at the front, don't we? All right. Also, while I'm at it, where's the thing that speeds up uh, taking parts off, if there is one? Uh, let's see. All tools efficiency is increased. Yeah, let's go with that one, and I do want to move faster. So there we go. 
All right, let's get this stuff off. Yeah, sorry, Marketo. It's, um, no, I don't have a canker sword. This is just, uh, it's just a tick that I'm trying to get rid of. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'm doing my best to stop. That wasn't in my history book. <laughs> I love that redeem. That wasn't in my history book. All right, good news is the screws are in pretty good condition, which is amazing considering this thing is so rusted, but even if that's the case, we still need to take some of, we still need to take a lot of these parts off. So, let's see. Take the roller wheels off. So yeah, you can see, once you start pulling this stuff off, you can see the, t the body of the tank. It's actually just, again, a tank is just a big metal box at the end of the day. Take these road wheels off. Got to take these out. This is going to be expensive to get all this fixed. Like normally, I wouldn't outsource all of this, but since it's only the um, it's only the engine and like the, the treads that need work, yeah, I'll outsource it. Besides, I made a ton of money off of um, off of turning in that T34, so we have some money to burn. Yeesh. I'm amazed that he kept it in such good shape except for this part. Like, the whole, the body and the turret are fine, but the engine, I'm, the engine and this stuff is all messed up. All right. I believe that should be about it. All right. Yeah, that looks like it. Unless the internal part's really bad. Might have to take a look. Hold on. Let's take a look inside. Nope. We pulled the engine out, so we should be good. Yep. That's all in good shape. It's just the engine stuff. All right. Well. Oops. Wrong button. All right. Yeah. Select all and then outsource the repairs. Uh... Just prime it. Uh, get it to the priming stage. I'll take care of the rest. There we go. Cost me six th a little over 6000 but that's okay. All right. Sandblast this thing. It is. Yeah, Draken, this is a very uh, relaxing game. It's, you know, also kind of like a uh, power wash simulator, but if you like working on machines and, like, looking at tanks and everything, then, like I do because I'm a military historian, this is really fun. And it's why I'm doing these... This is a laid-back, relaxed stream, basically. There we go. Oh, I missed, I missed a rust spot. Ah, the oil filter. There we go. That fixes that. Now we just gotta wait for the belts to be done, and then we can fix this thing. And then we'll put all the pieces back on, and he wanted it to be... He wanted a test drive, so we'll do that, too. And later on, once you get enough reputation, you can actually unlock the firing range. So you can actually, like, fire the guns, which I think is awesome. All right. Are we good now? Let's take a look. Yep. All right. I will take these back now. So let's start assembling it. Put the belts back on. Got to get my mouse perfectly lined up. There we go. So that should handle the engine. Yep. Let's put it back. There we go. Now, let's put the rest of these pieces on. Oh, wait. Actually, let me, uh... That's a good... That reminds me. Uh... Hold on. Take that off. Let's actually, uh... Hmm. I mean, yeah. If I'm gonna... If I'm gonna... If I'm going to do this and we're going to drive it around, we might as well. There we go. So, yeah, they've um, they primed it all for us. So, now we just got to paint it. And put all the screws back in, of course.
Where's my... There it is. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Let's get underneath there. Hmm. You can see one thing that kind of sets the Panzer IV apart is that you actually, like, can't get... A, the tracks are off. You can't really get up under there. Like, this is it. So, let's start assembling it again. Get all these supports on, and then we'll start painting this too. Uh, most, I try to keep most of my streams chill, but this one's like more to, you know, this one doesn't have like strategy action going on or me or, you know, or tons of stuff like that. This is just meant to be like, hey, let's just chill and patch up and repair some old machines. But I do try to stay chill. I had someone tell me that I, uh, had someone tell me in some of the collabs, the older collabs I used to do, I talk too much and then I need to tone it down a bit. So... I do. I don't want to talk over people. I don't want to, you know, impose. So I just play it cool. Let's keep fixing this. Yeah, and meanwhile, there's if I want screaming, I'll let Duke handle it. Because Duke showed time and time again in Symphony of War that if we need to be loud, let Dubal do it. Dubal's loud enough for everyone. And I mean that in the best way possible. All right, get this trunnion back on, and this idler wheel. Okay, all right, let's paint this up. They do, they do fountain, they do fountain stranger, but in a co-op stream like. If someone else is streaming, you they need to be able to interact with their stream, too. Which is something I'm, you know... That's why I'm trying to keep the talking limited to just conversation and stuff. Which is fair. That's something I've had to learn. That's not something that anyone teaches you. Everyone likes to say, oh, there's an unwritten rule for VTubing. Well, someone needs to write it, then. Because there needs to be, like, rules and tips. Which I would very much appreciate. But hey, sometimes you just gotta learn the lessons on your own. School of Hard Knocks, VTuber edition. I'm just, a, look, I'm just an imp doing his best. And that's all anyone can ask for. There we go, and perfect. Yeah, Duke's right, tips would be great. Yeah. All right, let's get the track back on. I want you guys to imagine having to do this in the middle of a battle. If your track gets damaged, you have to take the track off and then reattach it. And normally what they would end up doing is just have the tank, they'd lay the track out and then have the tank drive over it. So you could connect them that way. But if your track gets blown off, well, you're not going anywhere. Now, some tanks, uh, like the BT-7, which I don't know if it's in this game or not. Um, Aurora would, uh, Indy would have to tell me that. But the BT-7, made by the Soviets, um, uh, had this cool thing where it could actually drive on its road wheels. If its tracks got blown off, it had a suspension that allowed it to drive on, uh, on these things, on road wheels. Ah. Stupid. Sorry, I forgot to turn my phone off. My phone is also my camera. There we go. Fixed. But yeah, I don't know many tanks that can drive around on their road wheels. I mean, they can, but it's not good for the tank. All right. There we go. That's one down. Look pretty good. All right, let's do this one next. Put on the idler wheel. I mean, 
you're right, Draken. It does sound like panic mode, but hey. Hmm. If your tank can drive on its road wheels without a track, I mean, I'm not going to say no to that. Like, if it gets me out of there, fine by me. All right. Put the final drive on. Oops. Get it painted. Here we go. Oops. All right. There we go. All right, let's put all those supports on, then we'll come back. And once we're done here, we'll slap the turret back down on it and we'll take it out for a drive. There we go. All right. Let's paint this up real quick. These internal parts. Or inner parts, I guess. Not internal. Yeah, that's true, Rejo, but you know... Sometimes people want to talk to their streams and they don't like being talked over or interrupted, and I understand that. And the thing is, I try to talk to everyone who's in my stream. If you guys have questions or make comments, I want to reply to y'all. I have to learn that I can't reply to everyone. So, you know. But I do my best. All right. Almost done. Let's get the, road the roller wheels on. these on. <laughs> A limit on talking? Like, your free trial of talking has expired. Alright. Another belt. Almost done. Let's get this thing in there. Got it. All right, let's paint it up. And I think that should be everything. Whoops. And if you're wondering what that, uh, what, hold on, what this is? Ooh, ugh, ugh. that's to, that's to get rid of screws that won't come out. I was about to saw right through the treads. That, uh, <laughs> that, that would be expensive. I'd have to get them replaced. Yeah, it's an angle grinder. It's, like I said, it gets rid of broken screws or things that are rusted in there too tight to get out. And if that doesn't work, hmm, you can always use the hammer. That works too. Cut it in twain. All right, nice. So, let's check here. All right, uh, the gearbox. Oh, right parts um brake drum uh what's wrong with it hold on like what's the problem with it oh there i was about to say what's uh what's wrong with it zaruk it's not in there all right she's good let's slap the turret back on her and uh yeah we'll take her out for a test drive So this is it, a Panzer IV, uh, pa Panzerkampfwagen, uh, eins, I, did I, I don't know what four is in German. Panzerkampfwagen IV, Alf's G. All right, test drive time. Damn, why does this feel wrong? Yeah. All right, let's fill her up. Uh, oh, it's already full? 
Um, okay. Just says hold that to full. I guess it's full. Don't know how. Yeah, it's full. And does it have coolant? Yeah, it's got coolant too. All right, nice. All right, start her up. And yes, that's how you start it up. You have to rotate that to start up the engine. All right. Driver's side. All right, not nearly as loud as a T-34. But I can't see shit. We're taking it over rougher terrain because uh, they wanted a, he wanted a full test drive. Not over the light stuff. He wants the full test. All right, down into the hole. Fear. All right, so it's Panzerkampfwagen Fear auf G. Or auf G. Okay, that'll do it. Okay, that takes care of the job. She runs like a beauty. Wait, I test run... Hold on. Test run is... The test run is complete. I just finished it. Test run complete. Um, what, do you want me to do it again? Test run complete. Okay, hold on. Start her back up. Hold on. All right, well, we'll take it around one more time then. Yeah, I can't see shit through this view hole. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Did we did one of the parts break? Why is that why is that highlighted? Hold on. Hang on, let me out. What happened? All right, hold on. Let me take it back into the workshop. And yeah, I did. I fixed every, um, yeah, I finished the course and I, uh, it may, uh, someone might be right. Maybe I do have to take it back inside, but hold on. No, she's in good condition. So, huh. Let me check. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, Duke was right. You have to take it back inside. All right. Well, we're done. So, all right. No more tutorials. We're on to the real thing. Let's see. Repair. Con I've got an M3 half track in need of renovation. Can you help me? Required repairs. Normal. 32 reputation. Or grab your shovel. We found something. We know where a hidden tank is. We won't make it though. Can you help us? Um. Another pet project? Maybe? Sure. Let's go. Why not? First things first though. And that's if I wanted to take out a loan, which I don't. Um, tank museum, which... Mm. Whatever this next tank is, it's going in the museum. So, first off, though, I need some better tools for... Uh, it to, uh, actually, you know what? I think I'll be okay. Um, do need to unlock that, though. And then let's go with... All shop transactions, outsource repairs. Yes, that one. All right. Let's go check this thing out, whatever it is.
All right, let's go dig this thing up. If there's even something out there. Hold on, let's check. All right, where is it? Aha! Just to the right, huh? All right. So right over there. Yes, you can buy a drone that helps scout out terrain and find where stuff is. But it's very... You use a lot of renown for it. It's expensive. All right, stop. All right. All right. Hello, I see something. Yeah, y'all see it sticking out of the ground? That, that's an M2 heavy, that's an M250 cal machine gun. I'm going to keep looking around though. I marked it so we know where it is, but there might be more. Because remember, sometimes they give you bogus uh, drops. Like uh, Aurora pointed out, sometimes you can find just scrap metal and that ruins your chances. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. Let's go get that shovel. Because, yeah, that... um, If there's a big old 50 cal on the top, that's probably either an armored car, an armored or scout car, or it could be the top of a tank. I'm willing to bet it's an, a scout car, though. Like an M8, Grey, an M8 Greyhound or an M20. We'll find out, though. And yeah, a scout car is exactly what it sounds like. It's just used for reconnaissance. Uh, yes, there is a flying type drone you can unlock that helps you like circle the map and find burial spots. All right, let's dig this thing up. Oh, no, I hit something. Hang on. I have to dig around it. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, yeah, I dropped it. Dig a dig a hole. All right, yeah, there's something in there. Aha, I was right. This is a scout car. It's an armored car. Let's keep digging it out. That is a... I'll tell when I see the front of it. It looks like an M20. If it has the big gun... It does not. This is an M20 scout car. Yep. Or wait. No. Yeah, this is an M20. Yep, this is a scout car. The M8 Greyhound had a... The M8 Greyhound uh, armored car had a 75mm gun on it. This is a machine gun. So yeah, this is a... You, this is an M20 scout car. Or a utility car. Not bad. Not a bad find. I mean, it's not a tank, but still, pretty good find. Alright. Let's get the excavation crew out here. Yeah, you need to repair what you dig up. Thing is... Mm. An armored utility a utility car is probably not going to be very much money because it's not a tank. But you never know. Yep. We found something. Well, yeah, of course you found something. I'm the one that dug it up. I very much wish there was a. Oh, there is a run button. Good. Hang on, what does this say? Tank recovery. Restricted area. Yep, there she is. All right.
Yeah, she's missing a wheel. Let's hop inside. Order the tank thing. I can do it myself. get this thing as clean as I can. Alright, and... Yep. That's gonna do it. Because I can't get underneath it or anything. Whoop. But yeah, I can't get up underneath it, so. Really wish it would light up where I needed to clean it, but it I can't do that here. Okay. There we go. Alright. Pull her out. Alright. Bye, uh, bye, Fountain Stranger. Talk to you later. Take it, the scout car can take a hit. No, no, it can't. A scout car is just that, a scout car. It cannot take a hit. No, a, any tank round to go right through it. Now that's a Greyhound, the M8. And this, this might be a Greyhound. Nope, I was right. This is the, this is the M20. The difference is the M8 has the, uh, you know, like I said, has the turret and then the, the MG on top. This is a this is a scout an armored utility car and it can be used for anything reconnaissance scouting you name it it can do it the gun I'm surprised the gun actually is in good shape let's take it off though because uh, we don't want to put it up there not right now anyway we got to clean this thing first all right is she missing any parts I'm get um she's whoa She's not. She's only missing... I think she's only missing one part. That's a steal. Um, damn, all right. Well, that makes my job easy. Okay, well, um, and everything that's missing? Give it to me, um, let's get it to primed. Yeah, that's... Oh, ooh, that's expensive. Why is it 4,000? Oh, because it's all in... Good shape. Okay, I get it. Um, that's fine. I'm gonna make bank on this anyway. All right. All right. Let's take it apart. Oh, don't have to put anything on it because it doesn't have a turret. Let's at least get the engine out though. There it is. Tiny thing, isn't it? I mean, it's supposed to be. It's again, it's a armored car. Let's get the engine fixed up. Ah, uh, the ignition wires need to be replaced. As, yep, all the ignition wires need to be fixed. Okay. Well, should have figured as much. All right. Well, let's pull them out. Uh, pull the wires out. Thank you. The rest of the engine looks like it's fine. So, all right. Sandblast this thing. There we go. So all we got to do is get the ignition wires fixed. 
Yeah, can you guys uh, get this fixed for me? Thank you. All right. The rest of the tank, though... Oh, sorry, this is not a tank. It's an armored car. Yeah, the rest of this we're going to have to do by hand. My biggest fear is that we're going to... Like, there are going to be some parts we're going to have to pull off, I'm pretty sure. But we'll see. Yep, the shovel. That has to come off. Again, if it's if it can't be fixed and you can only replace it, we got to pull it off. And, of course, the tires. Why am I not surprised? All right, pull them off. Which makes sense. If the tires are ruined, then you can't really refurbish them, now can you? Love you too, babe. That this thing... Um, well, I mean, it could shrug off machine gun fire, but I mean, it's not It's not meant to go head-to-head -head with a tank. But in exchange for being lightly armored, it's fast. These things could... I think these things could break, like... These things can go highway speed. I think they can break 60 or 70. So, hold on. Get the tow rope out of here. I mean, they're quick. They have to be. All right. We're going to have to pull all the tires off. Oh, right. Pull the mud guard off. Yep, all the tires got to go. Okay. Anything else? There's probably some stuff internally. Yeah, I should probably hop in there and check. Uh, nope. Never mind. Huh. And here I was. Thinking we'd have to rip stuff out. Nope. Just got to do some rust removal. And yes, if you're looking at the chairs and wondering, wait, why does that need rust removal? Because the chairs are metal. Comfort was not exactly something in mind when it came to, uh, you know, making a vehicle, an armored vehicle. All right, the dashboard's good. The steering wheel's good. The pedal brackets and everything is in good shape. We just need to take care of it. All right. Hop out. All right, let's go do this side over here. First of all, let's um, uh, we're gonna we can't put the mud guard back on right now because we gotta finish uh, we gotta replace the tires. Speaking of that. Oh, God, they're all in bad shape. I can fix the mud guards, no problem. Uh, like these mud guards right here. I can fix those. It's the tools I can't fix. Those have to be outsourced. Thank you. All right. Keep this going. Because, again, rubber will just degrade and fall off, so we would have to get that replaced. Okay. Oh, did I miss a tire? Really? Ugh. Okay. Ugh. I hate when this happens. All right. Pull this off. And pull the tire off. There we go. All right, we'll have to get underneath it. Take a look. Yep. Drive shafts are rusted. I'll have to fix those too. I really hope I'm wearing a mask of some kind because these hot sparks are probably falling right in my face. All right. That should just about do it, I think. take a look. Yep. Oh, wait. 
the driver's hatch. Come here, you stupid stepping stool. All right, anything else? Well, yeah, I know the wheels are in bad shape. I pulled a lot of them off. All right, both of the brake drums need to be fixed and one of the shock absorbers. So, that one. Okay, easy. Hey, Cheshire, how you doing? Just doing a laid-back mechanic stream today. All right. All right, where, is those, where are those brake drums? Got to fix both of them. Or one of them, I guess. I thought I saw two of them. Okay. Uh, well, where is it? Ah, right there. Okay. Can I get in there? Nope, I'm going to have to pull this off. Great. All right. We'll put it back, but here we go. Okay, now we can put it back on. There we go. Anything else? No. We're good on that end. The engine, it needs the wires, but... And camshaft housing, what? Oh. Did I pull that off? Huh. Huh. I guess I did. Well, we can put it back together now, so let's go ahead and put the engine back together. There we go. Perfect. And that would mean the engine is ready, but the fuel system still needs some work. Um, wow, a lot of work, actually. Yeesh. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot more work to do. All right, well, let's open up the hatch and get back here. A lot of work to do. Lift that up. All right. Battery box has to come out. What else is in here? Ah, the V-belts need to come out. I think they're all busted. Yep, they're all busted, so we got to get them all out. All right, everything else is fine. We can fix this. Radiator cap. Yeah, everything else is fine, but we had to pull that stuff out. All right, let me just see if I can get down in here. That is one thing that's kind of tough is moving around in here because I can't, like, I don't have the ability to, like, lay on my stomach or, like, maneuver in here. I just got to make do. Be nice if I could pull this off. I bet I can, actually. But, let's see, I think that's everything in there. Oh, nope. Not yet. There we go. That should be everything. No, not my tool belt. Oh, got a locker door that needs fixing. All right. There we go. Let's see. Turret interior is fine. Hull interior is fine. It's missing the battery box, but we have to fix that. Doesn't have tracks. And the gearbox is fine. The wheels need to be put back on, obviously. All right, that looks like everything. So let's uh, make sure all of our parts are coming along. And then we'll put them all back together. All right, the engine is done, though. So we can put the engine back in. But, actually, I should probably wait. Because I still got to sandblast everything in there. Speaking of which... Let's sandblast. 
And once it's fixed, we'll, um, I don't have the renown for it, so we might have to just hold on to this one until I get the renown to make a museum. Because I believe you have to, like, uh, use your renown, like your upgrade points, to get a museum slot. So... So we'll do that. Let's get the thing cleaned up first, though. And this is another. This is something I dug up. So this will be another pet project, basically. I'll basically. I've got enough space, so I'll hold on to it until I have uh, the renown to make a museum. Because I have two slots for vehicles, so I can basically hold on to this one. Another vehicle to add to my collection, as General Grievous would say. Also, fun fact, if you could get a license for this thing, you could actually drive this, because it's street legal. As long as it goes fast enough to, you know, to get on the highway, it's street legal. I mean, you'd have to take the gun, the machine gun off of it, or just have it be a prop, but you could drive this. I wish I could say everything is okay, but I'm having a lot of technical issues. Oh, crap, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I know what that's like, trust me. If anyone's ever wondering why I don't play, like, Destiny 2 with Salazia or Sasha or anyone, it's because when I tried to run Destiny 2, it literally crashed my GPU and I had to reboot it. It literally crashed my graphics card, even though I have a pretty advanced graphics card and a pretty advanced computer. So, yeah, that happened. All right. Hmm. Still got to get some stuff in here. Hold on, let me, yeah, let me get up there. All right, takes care of all that in there. Ah, missed a spot, there we go, the drive shaft. We'll have to go underneath the vehicle next. All right, I think we're, yeah, I think we're good. Let's go underneath. Yep, need to sandblast all this. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. Time to put everything back on it. Hang on. All right, you got to paint them. Yeah, okay. Let's put everything back on, and then we'll worry about, uh... Worry about everything else. Let's get it all back on first. Because a lot of this stuff needs to be, uh, primed, like everything else, so... Shock absorber's on, put the rim on, and this tire, and the mud guard. Slap that mud guard back on. All right. I think that's everything. We still got to check the inside, make sure we got everything. Ah, yeah, I got to attach uh, the V-belts and everything. All right, where's the A, where's V-belt A go? Ah, there it is. Get that in there. Okay. Put on the extra stuff like the shovel. Still missing some other parts. So let's see the hammer. All right, the the tow rope and the battery box. Tow rope goes on the back, and the battery box I believe goes. I believe that goes in the front. At least I say it does. Oh, wait, no, it goes in the engine compartment. There we go. Okay, so we're all good. 
Now we gotta prime this bitch. Yep. There we go. And once we've primed it, we'll, um... Hmm. Once we primed it, we'll take it for a test drive. Or right, once we painted it, we'll take it for a test drive. See how it go see how it handles. I mean at the end of the day it's a scout car, so it's gonna be fast and nimble. Oh yes, the scout cars mm, that's why it has an open top. The scout cars could get uncomfortably hot. Not not too bad, not not as hot as a World War I tank, but yeah, they could get uh, pretty uncomfortable. But again, it's fast. That's the main thing. You want to get if you need to get out of there, you're glad you have the, a fast vehicle. If I'm right, they're also quiet. If I recall correctly, the M8 Greyhound was had a very quiet engine, so I'm wondering if this one's going to be just as quiet. I mean, it's a little engine, so I guess we'll find out. Something something 440 air conditioning. All right. Once it's all primed up, we'll uh, paint it. And if memory serves me, I believe I unlocked the painting room, so we can give this a kick-ass paint job. Probably gonna put some. Uh, I'll probably put some World War II like stars and everything on it because it is an American vehicle. Get this leaf spring taken care of. Alright. Shouldn't be any yellow. Well, there's a little bit of yellow left, which means it needs to be primed. get this all taken care of, then we'll hop down in there. Okay. I believe that should be it. Let's, uh... Mount this good old 50 cal on top. So it completes the, uh, completes the image. All right. Close this. All right, let me check my things and make sure we can upgrade it. Yep, we've got the paint room unlocked, so we'll go do that. Let's take it to the paint room. Let's see. Interior options, assembly mode. Hold on, let me check how that works. Muse uh... Oh, I haven't bought it yet. Never mind. So we're just going to have to paint it normally then. Man, got my hopes up for nothing. All right, well, it's fine. All right, let's paint this thing. And you can't paint the tires, obviously, so... I mean, you could... But it kind of defeats the purpose. 99% rust removed. What? Oh, that happens. Don't worry about it. I'll check it over in a second. It might be something I missed. Hold on. Ah, the mud guards. Oh, well, wait. Those just need to be painted, I thought. Hold on. Hold on now. We'll paint it over, and if there's anything wrong with it, I'll uh, go back and take a look. Rust might, might also be on the machine gun, now that I think about it. So we may have to run it through the ringer, too. Because, I mean, that machine gun was sticking up out of the ground, so it's probably not in the best shape, either. We'll take a look. ba 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 na ba ba Still, she's a good-looking armored car.
Hold on. Oh, it's the fuel system. Ah, that would explain it. The fuel system and the, uh, what else was it? The fuel hose needs to come out over some of the other stuff. That would explain it. Fuel system and the radiator cap, which I forgot to sandblast, I think. Yeah, I forgot to sandblast it. That would do it. All right, hold on. Also, I need to uh, get them to fix... I need them to outsource that real quick. Yeah, just take care of that for me. All right. Hop around. There's my sandblaster. There we go. I gotta prime it. Oh, you don't need to because it's, uh, it's metal, so we're good. Hull interior... Ah, the sights. They need, ah, they need sanding. Okay. I missed those sights right there. And they're on the inside of the tank, that would, or the armored vehicle. That would explain it. All right, let me in. Let me get inside there. Take a look. There we go. Let's fix that, shall we? All right, now we can prime them. And paint them. There we go. Perfect. Anything else? Ah, right. The steering wheel. Let's get this painted up. There we go. And the chair. Well, while I'm in here, might as well paint the chairs, too. There we go. Hop out. Yeah, we still need to put the fuel hose back in. Ah, right. This brake drum. I forgot about that. Let's get that fixed. There we go. Yeah, that's in bad shape. Hold on. Prime it. And now we can paint it. Same thing with this stuff. There we go. I don't know why that wheel's red. Um, all right, let's put it back together. Put the mud guard back on. Okay. Yeah, still waiting on the fuel system. That should be it. Still some parts that need to be painted, of course, but uh, we'll fix that. All right. Let me check that thing real quick. There it is. Fuel hose. There we go. Back in. Nice. All right. Let's finish painting this thing. Wait, oh, another another brake drum. Great. Are they all this bad? Hold on. Because that's the thing. It's not registering that the brake drums are bad. I need to... But I need to fix them regardless. Oh, yeah. It needs to be uh, sanded. There we go. Now we can prime it and paint it. Look, it's not going to be perfect. A ton of these vehicles are going to have rust on them. It's just because they're old. That how, that's how it works. And again, some of these vehicles are like... Some of this... This game's really picky with uh, its percentages. Like, again, I can't do anything about that wheel because wheels are... You can't paint... You can't paint them. Ah, I see. There's another shock absorber that needs fixing. Hold on. Or no, that's another brake pad. Or whatever it is. A brake drum. There we go. 
Got it. So the brake drums are done. Let's see, are there any others? Anything else that needs painting? Aside from this stupid ass wheel? Yeah, I didn't think so. Let's get this thing set up. Slap this on. There we go. Take a look at that. And just ignore why that's red. Again, you can't paint the wheels, so I don't know why it's like that. Ah, hold on. It's gonna bug me. Hey, can you idiots, like, fix this? You're supposed to, like, just... Whatever, just... You can't... Again, you can't prime a tire, so I don't know why... Whatever. It's 250 bucks. That's fine. All right, put the engine back in. And once that wheel's done, we'll take it out for a spin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the wheel, uh, wheel percentage is only 96%. Yes, because it's missing a wheel. Yeah, Aurora's right. It's probably like a plate somewhere or something that I missed, but I really don't care. Might also be the machine gun. Who knows? Nope, that's just for decoration. Kind of lame, but oh well. All right. Ten seconds, and then we can put this back on. Give new wheel or I riot. All right, all right. I'm going to put a wheel on it. Relax. Can't exactly drive it around without a wheel, now can I? There we go. Boom. Apparently somewhere it's not painted, but, like, I mean, at this point, I don't really care. Look at that. All right. Well, she's done. So, uh, let's take her out for a spin. Fill her up first. All right. That's done. Fill up the fuel tank. Where is the fuel tank on this thing? In the front? That's dangerous. All right. Yeah, the wheel being red was a glitch, probably. All right. Start her up. Come on. Full speed. Let's go. supposed to be quick. There we go. That's better. Not exactly a convertible, but at least I can see. I think that'll do. Oh, wait. I should probably finish the drive, shouldn't I? Eh. It's fine. It's right there. This thing did a pretty good job. Let's put it back in. And like I said, we're going to hold on to it because I want to put it in the museum. But I can't right now because, well, I don't have the museum upgrade yet. That's uh, right here, and you need 30 reputation. So for now, uh, we're just going to... I think I've got it space. Yes, I have space. So we are going to get another tank. 
Can I put it outside? Eh, never mind. Go to the yard. What's out here? It's not a tank, though. It's an armored car. Can part tanks. Okay. All right, well. Where's my open slot? What the hell? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, these are completely trashed. Oh, I can buy these, and I can refurbish them. Okay. Well, these are, uh, these are half tracks. I need to find where my spot is so I can park this, uh, utility car. Yeah, move tank to... Oh, hold on. Oops. Well, there's about eight spots in the lot. Okay. Yeah, hold on. I need to move this thing. Move tank. Yeah. Please move it to the... Uh... Oh, there we go. All right, it's outside now. Cool. Let me go look at those half tracks again. The Russian Death Fridge. The Russian Death Fridge. If I find a KV2, I'm keeping it. Anyway, here is our M8 or M20. Let's go take a look at those half tracks. They are not in good shape, that's for sure. Yeah, they are missing a lot of parts. And it's only 31% complete. I would have to... Man, I would have to get, like... Yeah, I'd have to do a ton of outsourcing. I'd have to buy a lot of the parts, too. So, these are not worth it. As cool as they are. I'd be better off just scrapping them if I could. But I don't own them. They're just out in the garbage lot. So, I mean, yeah, it's cheap. It's only 200 bucks. But, I mean, it's... Ugh. Okay, well, let's take this one. Yeah, fine. I'll take it. It's the better... It, that one's in better condition, so I'll take it. And I'll go take a look at it. That's the museum. And yeah, I know I need to get the fabrication room so I can craft parts. I know. Oh, I have to go through this one. Oh, click the metal piles and get scrap. I didn't know that. Let me go do that. Again, collecting scrap would be good so I can fabricate parts, but for right now, I don't have the fabrication room. But having the scrap on hand would be good. There's got to be a faster way to do this. It's funny that I'm the only guy in this workshop and I don't have people who can go out and, like, gather scrap for me. You'd also think it would go... It would vanish when you were done with it, but nope. Still here. It's a lot of it, though. Let's grab what we can. I'll grab scrap for 16 an hour. <laughs> Again, if we can melt it down and make it useful, fine by me. Once we get the fabrication room. Yeah, I think that's all of it. Yeah, that's all of it for now. 
What are you doing here? I saw you back there. Did you somehow teleport yourself up here to be more appealing? Forget it. Your ugly ass twin brother was more complete than you, and I'm gonna work, and he's gonna be a strict pet project. I mean, it's a half track. It's not exactly gonna win any awards. But then again, nobody's gonna dump a tiger tank skeleton back here. Or a mouse tank skeleton. That would be ridiculous. You get more by destroying rusted parts. Alright, well, I know you can do that from the storage menu. Still, scrap is scrap. And I'm gonna guess that this refreshes over time. And I can't get back there because I don't have access to that part of the thing yet, so. Alright, back to the workshop. You found a tiger skeleton in the... in. Wow, okay. Alright. Oof, you are in bad shape. Alright, let's pull off some of this stuff. Like, you know it's in bad shape when you pull off parts and there's dust everywhere. Good grief. Well, we know what killed it. Man. Yeah, you are in bad shape. Alright, well, I don't really have time to work on you right now because I need to get some prestige. I need to get some, uh, some uh, renown so I can start getting some upgrades. So I'll strip it. I'll strip the parts out of it that I can and I'll send them in to be refurbished and uh, I'll take on another job. Because, like I said, this is a pet project. Let me... Let me out. <sighs> well, okay. All right. I've stripped the parts out of it. Let's pull the engine out. And if there's anything wrong with it... Well, yeah, there's a lot wrong with it, actually. Okay, well... For now, this has got to go back in there. All right. Let's get these parts refurbished. Select all. Outsource. Eh, go ahead and paint them. It's fine. There's not a lot. All right. Let's take a job. All right. Grab your shovel. We found something. Yeah, but that's not going to get me any renown or any reputation. So, nah. What else we got? All contracts. Let's see. I have an M3 half track in need of renovation. Found a tank. I have an M10 Wolverine and it needs to be renovate. It needs some renovation to be perfect condition. I have a T3. Ooh, a T3485. Huh. Required repairs. Hmm. Why not? Let's go check out this. Let's check. Uh, yeah, Maria. This T3485. All right, what you got for me? Hmm. All right. No time limit either. Thank God for that. Dump some of these. All right. Let's take a look. Uh, wrong tank. I need the, uh... I need the... Oh, wait, I've got another workshop. Why is it in the paint room? Ah, oh, whatever. All right. So, what did you want done? Let's see. Okay. Required repairs. Yeah, everything. You want you want everything fixed. Okay. Got it. All right. Well, better get started. Let's see. All right. The hell you mean I can't take... Let me take the tow rope off. Why can't I take the tow rope off? Ah. Camera. Hmm. 
Oh, can I not take anything off because this is the paint room? Yeah, that might do it. Uh, hold on. Let's swap these around, shall we? I'll put it outside for now. And this... There. All right. Let's get to it. Yeah, I got it. Like you said, got to take it out of the paint room. All right. Let's get to work. Strip off all the stuff that needs to be replaced. I... I, I got it. Let me just... Why are you... Okay. Oh, I gotta pull the other tow rope off. Alright. Man, a lot of these fuel tanks have to be replaced. Great. Oh. Wait. Let me put that back on. If it can be... If it has to be pulled off, fine. But otherwise, we can, uh... We can just repair it naturally. Let's take a look around. Ooh. Well, you know what killed it? Yeah, fuel tanks are going to have to be replaced. As are the tow ropes and the toolbox. Let's get the engine out while I'm at it. And the turret. If any of you guys have... Mm, if any of you guys have ever seen those famous pictures of Soviet tanks with their turrets sticking out of the ground, yeah, they buried them. And this is a good example. This, a T-34, 76, or 85 would be buried, and so only the turret was exposed, because this turret can take some hits. Do I know Jingles? Yes, I do. I don't know him personally, but I know of his videos, yes. Who doesn't know Jingles? All right. Well, I'll take care of the turret in a second. Let's find if there's, see if there's anything else that needs to get pulled out of this thing. She's a beauty, but she needs a lot of work. Let's see. Hmm. All right, looks pretty good. So let's get started with the rust removal. We'll start with the turret. T-34-85, T when your standard T-34 just isn't doing the job, get bigger gun. T-34-76 is called that because it had a 76.2 millimeter gun, and the T-34-85 is called that because it's got an 85 millimeter gun. Easy numbers, to re easy to remember that way. Let's hop up there. All right, that looks pretty good. Very nice. Okay. Before I forget. Yeah, you guys outsource that. Just, yeah, paint it. Why not? All right, let's do the engine next. That's a big beast of an engine. Again, like I said, I don't know anything about engines, so as far as I'm concerned, like, I don't know if, like, this is a big engine or if this is too small to power the tank. I don't know. All right, that takes care of that. Let's go ahead and sandblast the engine. Wait, is this engine? Oh, yep, there we go. Engine's good, so we can leave it. Let's go get the turret. Oh, yeah, the, um, mm, the KV-2, the Russian Death Fridge is 152 millimeter ha uh, uh, ha dirt gun. Sacrifice enough political dissidents to Stalin, and the hand, the cult, the hand of hot Stalin will reach up from hell and guide your shot to its target. I love that joke. Pure Stalinium. Do 
You go to Gulag. All right. Good thing the optics don't. Good thing the optics and the uh, some of the other stuff is in good condition. Otherwise, this would be a pain. All right, let's head up top. Ah, it's missing a viewer and an antenna. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, isn't it supposed to highlight if I uh, try to put a part in and it's like, hey, you don't have this. Yeah, where's the antenna? Or did I put it in for repairs? No, I did not. So I'll have to buy one. All right, let's see. What's missing? From the, no, the turret exterior. All right, the viewer and an antenna. All right, well, I'll buy them. Let's see. All right, this is a T3485, and I'm missing on the turret exterior. I need an antenna, and I need a viewer. There we go. Thank you. All right, let's get that set up. And these have already been primed, so that's good. Might as well do the turret now. And this will probably be the last tank for the day because I'm on... Um, mm, mm. I've already gone over three hours, but I figured this is a chill stream. Mm. So we'll just do four hours. Who knows? Uh, I've just got a pizza coming. So, you know, when it gets here, who knows? I might continue. We'll see. Let's see. And if not, I'll be doing this next week, so. Let's see. Primed, primed, primed. Oh, that needs to be sanded. There we go. Primed. Anything else? Nope. All right. Oh, wait. All right, let's paint this thing. Get it out of the way. Now, later jobs that you're given will have time limits. As you get more and more reputation and do more work, mm, you'll have time limits. Like someone might say, oh, you've got this long. Can you get it done in this time? Can you do this? Can you do that? And sometimes you may have to cut corners. Like, you may not be able to do a full 100% because you're like, well, they needed the job done, so. And we can't put this tank in a museum because it belongs to somebody. So, and no, we're not going to rob them for their tank. <laughs> Though that would be kind of funny. Hey, I'm the one that refurbished and got the tank working. Oh, hey! Fourth Aeolingus! Welcome, Raiders. Thank you. Wait for this horn to stop. Um, I'm Zaruk Windcaller. Welcome to the Forest of Memories. Oliver, thank you for the raid. Uh, make yourselves at home. This is a chill Wednesday stream. I normally stream at night. Mm. But I've got class tonight. So I thought I'd do some tank mechanic simulator. Y'all make yourselves at home. We are currently working on a T-3485. All right. Let's get this thing fixed. But yeah, welcome. Make yourselves at home. Uh, like I said, I'm Zaruk Windcaller, a variety streamer, the uh, the Guardian, the High Remembrancer, and the Arbiter of the Forest of Memories, where mm, where every memory that you've had you've had and then forgotten, or memories of decisions you didn't make, exist in the forest, and I'm in charge of all of them. 
So yeah, y'all make yourselves at home. You have questions, let me know. We um you can put you can put exclamation mark Discord in the uh in the chat to uh get a link to our Discord. Uh but yeah, y'all make yourselves at home. If you have questions, ask. All I ask is that you obey the rules and that's it. Let's see. Alright, that de-rusting is done here. Still got to do the road wheels. Let's move this out of the way. I have not forgotten the inner parts of these wheels, so... Let's get underneath here. Yes, I know I've got another email waiting for me, but I'm kind of in the middle of a job right now. I can't really take another one right now. I only have two hands. If I had more, or I had more workers, then... Look. Hmm. If I had more imps in this mechanic place helping me, then yeah, I'd be taking more jobs. But right now, it's just me and my three-foot-five self and my tiny hands, so... They're gonna have to wait. Yeah, I yeah I imagine the hardest tank to restore would be the mouse, considering it's a it's an abomination of like, mm, it's an abomination of metal and steel of steel and iron. Yeah, I imagine it would be kind of a pain to refurbish it. I'm also surprised you're even able to get the turret off of it, considering how heavy it is. But I'll cross that bridge when I come to it if I find a mouse. Let's see, we can't get in there and fix those shock absorbers. Alright. There's one right here. Get all this rust off. I'll have to go in there and do the, in uh, the interior next. Alright. Let's get in there. Back in this cramped hellhole of a tank. As cool as it is, and it is cool, this is, uh, ugh, this is cramped. And this is, bef and I've already had to pull some pieces out. If all the pieces were in here, yeah, it's pretty bad. All right. Yep, gotta get down in there, too. Hold on. Take the cover off. All right. And this one, too. All right, let's get in there. Thankfully, the, the metal just has to be sandblasted and we'll be okay. So we can sandblast this and then cover it back up. Yeah, proto I know. Prototype 1 didn't have a turret and Prototype 2 didn't have a body. So they, ba they basically just slapped them on top of each other. They combined them. And yeah, hmm. It was so heavy and it couldn't run that they built the museum around it rather than them taking it to the museum, which I think is hilarious. All right. That looks like it's going to be it. All right. Let's sandblast this thing. Uh, sorry, let's sandblast it. Here we go. The good news is, like I said, the metal doesn't need to be primed or anything, so we get this cleaned up, we won't have to worry about it. We just slap the cover back on top of it. Apologies for all the misclicking. Man, the range on this sandblaster is impressive. All right. Considering they wanted it back in perfect condition, I'm probably going to have to weld that hole shut. Also, I'm noticing a lot of uh, rust removal is not done, so I need to check what I'm missing. 
Actually, let's do that now. What's missing? Oh, right, because a lot of the pieces are missing. And, oh, and the wheel. Oh, God, yeah. I, yep, change of plans. we got to take the wheels off. The tracks and the wheels. All right. Or do we? Hold on a minute. Let's at least sandblast everything, and then I'll pull it off and see what we can find in here. Because a lot of this stuff needs, apparently says it needs to be uh, de-rusted. Thank you for doing that, Cataclysm. Yes. Hmm. Yes, Raiders, we do have a YouTube channel where all the VODs are kept. So, hmm. Can't stick around for a stream? Just go to the YouTube channel and watch one of the VODs. It would mean a lot to me. Let's see. There we go. Let's keep this going. Oh, yeah, the tracks. That, that, that definitely might be one reason why it's so bad. All right. Let's sandblast this. All right. Head underneath. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to, like... Because the rust removal thing is still lit up. So I'm guessing it's because some of the parts I had to remove... But I'm still going to take the wheels off and check. In fact, let's, let's do that. Let me see. Yeah, it's probably because a lot of the parts are missing. Oh, I missed a shock absorber. That one. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Yes, yeah, missing some parts that I had to take off. The engine is fine. Fuel system's fine. The gearbox is missing some parts. Of course it is. Um, yeah, I'll probably have to... I'll put everything back on. If there's any pieces missing, we'll, uh, we'll fix those. All right. Let's assemble everything first. Put this away. Slap this stuff back on. And then with that all on, we'll check what's missing. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I have to fix the engine cover. That might help, actually. I took it off. Yeah, let's fix that, shall we? There we go. And I know that we need to attach the engine cup, the hatchback, and the fan cover. Fix that up. Okay. All right, is there anything else that we can put on this thing right now? Oh, other tow rope. Toolbox. I think that's everything that we pulled off, but it's still missing a lot of pieces. So let's check our thing here. Yeah, the front headlight's missing. The saw's missing. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's missing. Yeah, and I, I'm missing a lot of... Yeah, well, we did find it. It is a piece of... It is a... Like, they did want it perfectly refurbished, so we are going to have to buy a lot of the pieces. All right. Just uh, give me the parts and give them to me at least to the point where they're... Hmm. I'll take them sandblasted. That's fine. I can I can prime them myself. Cha-ching. All right. Let's put this thing together. There we go. Oop. Let's get this belt back on. Put this track in. There we go. 
attach the saw and the front headlight. I love how they're like, oh, it needs a little bit of refurbishing and then it'll be perfect. You are legit, my brother and my brother or sister in Christ, you are literally missing pieces. All right, there we go. Rear track attached, track belt. Okay. Slap this toolbox on. Another tow rope. Suspension arm. Yeah, needed road wheels. Needed a lot of work done. But, all the more worth it, worth it to fix it. All right. Anything else missing? I don't think so. I think I just got to prime everything now and then paint it. Ah, the gearbox is uh, the final drive. Brake drum, final drive. There we go. Nice. Okay. Still 79% complete. Uh, the, the whole interior. Oh, right. Yeah, it probably does need the, the driver's seat. There we go in the two suspension covers. Yeah, yeah, I know it's still got, we still got to fit, we're not done yet. We still got to prime everything. And the final drive and the brake drum need to be sandblasted, so. Problem is they're back in there, so. Let's see if I can't get in there. There they are. I can get in there. Whoop. There we go. Alright, let's get this thing primed up. But first, I should probably put the cover back on. There we go. All right, now, back to priming. Yeah, I know, a little refurbishing. Yeah, yeah, my, a my ass. It's just a little work and then it'll be perfect. You are missing pieces. A lot of these screws are bad, but oh well. Look, I just want to get the thing fully repaired for them. That's what they wanted, so. This is not a full overhaul job. It's not what they wanted. They just wanted repairs and... Mm. They wanted enough repairs done to it that it could at least drive. So, and with this, it'll be able to. Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to go. I don't think that's supposed to go there. Hmm. All right, the tracks are almost done. There we go. Tracks are finished. Let's get underneath here and start doing all this stuff. All right, this one and this one. Gotta get, whoop, 
Almost missed that one. All right, gotta get inside now. Let's see. Uh, what the- how do you want me to fix this? Like, whatever. I'm not, like, ugh. Getting the parts, like, the extra pieces is dumb. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, I can't- wait, you can paint it? What? Hold on, hold- hold on. Hold on now! How and why? No, you can't! It's the hole that can be painted. All right. Hmm. Well, we're almost done. Oops. Let's check. Let me check over the last few things. Yeah, we're almost done. We just got to paint it. I believe their, uh, what was their request? Required repairs. Wait, what? The brake drum? The hell you mean? It's fixed. Oh, you want it painted, I guess. Like, they're fixed. Like, I legitimately can't do anything about them. They're fixed. Like, required repairs. Uh, exhausted. Yeah, those are fixed. Like, okay, I guess I'll just paint it, and I guess that'll be enough for you. Oh, wrong one. As red as comrades, as red as the Soviet flag and the blood of the Soviet people. Let's actually make it look pretty. When you finish assembling... Mm. When you finish assembling something and there's extra parts, like that Brooklyn Nine-Nine scene. I'm a grown man with grown man hands and a grown man brain. I should be able to put together a dollhouse. Look. This little piece has three sides and nowhere to screw it in. And it has wheels. What kind of doll castle has wheels? I love seeing that scene just to see Terry Crews have a breakdown. Take it from the imp. If you guys have never seen Brooklyn Nine-Nine, you're doing yourself a disservice because it is hilarious. There are some really good scenes in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Ah, I gotta get in there to that shock absorber. wonder if I can get up underneath it and do it. She's worried about her motorcycle sitting idle and wants us to take it out once a day to, rip, uh, to prevent it from happening. Here. I think you're more of the biker type. I've seen you use a toothpick in public. Motorcycles are death machines. I have three kids. I'm not risking it. Are you saying my life matters less because I don't conform to society's heteronormative uh, way of thinking? Are you really playing the gay card right now? Yas queen. It's a great, it's a great show. Mm-hmm. Despite what you hear, I assure you, the captain does care about us. I will slit you both open from mouth to anus and wear you like jackets. Why is nobody having fun? I specifically requested it. Ouch. You ran over my foot. I am in incredible pain.
All right. Aha! I missed a spot. There we go. Okay, so apparently I missed a spot. Oh. Of course, it's the saw. And for the wheels. Oh, yeah, I missed a shock absorber. It's uh, that one. Okay, the one at the left front wheel. Let's see if I can. Where is it? Well, kind of hard to get up in there. Yeah, I'm going to have to pull the wheels off. Or pull the track off. There we go. Now I can get to it. There we go. So this is the wheels are in piss poor condition. Oh, it's because I pulled them off. Yeah, that, that, that might be why. And this damn saw. Ugh. Okay. Hold on. Let me put everything back together, and then I can custom order a saw that's apparently, that, you know, apparently doesn't need priming or, or sandblasting. Ugh. Okay. All right, let's put the turret back on. And put the engine back in. Yeah, that's why you don't get parts half done. Yeah. I'm seeing that now. Alright. Look, you bastards. Just make sure it's finished this time. Alright. Well, before it gets here... Uh, am I not going to put on the mask? Um, okay. Let's weld this hole up. Because they said they wanted it in perfect condition, so... That means get rid of the hole. There we go. Done and done. Ah, another 20 seconds. Good grief. Well, she's in good shape, though. I think I'm going to make good money on this one. I actually went out of my way and painted it for them. They better pay me for it. Come on. Any day now. Thank you. Perfect. Though apparently one spot's missing paint. Where? No, everything's perfect. What's not painted? Ah, you know what? Screw it. Job's done. Job done. Yep. Oh, wait. Hold it. What do you mean the final... Oh, the final drive needs to be painted. Okay. Well. Best thing to do then is to lift the engine cap and get in there. Again. take all this off so I can get in there. And this is the moment where Zarook slowly started to go insane. Why does a final drive need to be painted? Seriously? Okay. Is that everything? 
Yes, I know the whole exterior still is missing. Let me put everything back on. It's not like one of those guys from, mm, from Company of Heroes 2. Yes, I know it's technically impossible to fire a rocket launcher from an enclosed position. Don't read the fucking manual next time and you won't care so much. All right. Pretty sure that's everything. Yes. And required assembly. Yeah, it's done. Order finished. Thank you. Got a, wow, I got a ton of renown for that. Nice. We found a tank. Uh, need help. My IS-2 is in need of renovation. Um, okay, I've already done a utility car. Let's see, my IS-2. That might be interesting. Um, you know what? Sure. Send it over. Yeah, you have an anti-tank rifle. Over there is a tank. Figure it out. Anyway, unlock the museum. All right, the crafting table. Now for the uh, other stuff I need, like... Shop transactions, reputation increase, outsources are done are cheaper, crafting parts, uh, tool efficiency, money increase. Money's not really a problem for me right now. There we go. Unfortunately, mm, I am gonna have to call it here. I think because, uh, mm, and this is a good. To, uh, hold on, let me at least transfer uh, my. Uh, Let's at least transfer, uh, let's at least transfer my utility car over there to the museum. There we go. And let's at least look at it. In this area, blah, 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 blah. spent in the upgrade pen. Okay. And I'm not really in the mood to do this kind of customization right now. But yeah, here it is. So. And there's supposed to be... A oh yeah, the museum thing. Set ticket price. Honestly, eh, just... Let's just make it, for now, just $2. Because I've only got one tank on display. Or just $1. Yeah, $1 ticket. Because I don't have anything to show right now. So, in time, though. Alright, back to the shop, and then I'll, uh, let's save. Alright. Yep, alright. So, let's, uh, back to the main menu. Yeah, and then, uh, next week we'll pick up here again and we'll continue. Because this was fun. I'm glad you guys liked it. A lot of people showed up for this. I'm kind of surprised. Didn't know people thought mechanic work was so cool. But we are going to raid somebody. I did promise we'd raid, we'd raid Glaze. So let's see if she's even back on. If she's still streaming. Let's see. Uh, doesn't look like she is. Um, but Gabo is. See, we can go raid Gabo. Who's playing Rumbleverse. So yeah, let's go raid Aunt Gabo. So let me get that set up. Well, oh, hold on. My thing is... Let's see. Hmm. Looks like she's playing with Glaze, but Glaze is not streaming, so. All right, let's go raid Aunt Gabo. Y'all be on your best behavior, as always. Hmm. And, hmm. and yeah, thank y'all for coming by to this little impromptu mechanic stream. With that, I will see you all tomorrow for our normal stream. 
where myself, Chibata, and a few others are going to be playing Deep Space Battle Simulator. But as always, thank you for visiting the forest. I have been Zaruk Windcaller. It's been my privilege to entertain you. And remember, the memories we make in life, good and bad, make us who we are. All right, let's don't trade your memories for anything. Let's go raid. Love you guys. Bye-bye.